also um, at home pants place and um, never mirror this is a bit rustic rusty and I think it's quite nice like this this way um, it's just no touch and uh, you see this footprints on the door is matching rustic look of the mirror and so on it's this, this is my dad's old bathroom now it's a guest bathroom but it used to be my dad's um, so it's like manly <laughs> bathroom anyway um this uh, video gonna be a little bit about a lot about uh, sex and kinks maybe I should warn about that and when I do a vlog I don't know I don't know what the standards are but I'm doing it right now so it's not something small children should visit or go to bed yeah anyway um oh and uh, as I'm at the top topic um I have uh, this magazine, I, I got this magazine sent to me sometimes, which are like, um, I don't know how to describe it, because it's not, it's not a porn magazine, it's actually like articles about a lot of uh, lifestyle things and so on, um, but lots of the pictures in it are on the border between okay and pornography. It's, uh, it's nothing like to eclipse but it's still you know all the associations and so on it's very very clear what you are supposed to think even it doesn't show really exactly what's going on and this is for uh, gay uh, men it's magazines and uh, don't ask me why they send it to me but uh, anyway it's a long story and I don't really have time for that one <laughs> right now but I get that and I enjoy reading it because I think it's really funny and uh, I got that uh, in the mail yesterday that magazine and also a magazine about makeup and I was like mm, gay porn makeup gay porn makeup uh, makeup and it wasn't big uh, in a hard decision and I think that says a lot about my age it's like I'm getting old you know it's not that fun anymore <laughs> yeah yeah makeup is really fun um but anyway uh, I was talking to two friends about this um lately about um because those two friends have had sexual experience with uh, people who have been virgins for quite some time in a high, you know, a little bit up in the years. Um, not extremely old, but sometimes between 25 and 30. And uh, which is quite late in Sweden, you'd say, you might say. Uh, and uh, they both have the same experience, but I also have of uh, people in that age or people over 20 who's still being virgins um, but they get a little bit obsessed with sex and when they are up to do it it's all like inspired by this porn sites and magazines and novels and so on so it's extreme it's not this like ordinary sexual context it's like it should be what other people might think is a bit extreme and it can be like testing everything in the map in, as a short but has you know the, the more the merrier and everything should be tested as soon as possible and a lot about uh, quantity and nothing but quality and uh, I think that is I mean I can understand that if you're waiting for something very long and you get all excited and do everything at once and I am quite experienced as I think you already know what is uh, love uh, I have done pretty much everything there is to do and uh, which I want to do which are almost everything because I'm extremely open-minded uh, when it comes to these kind of things and um, yeah just have, like everything at least once and, and I think you should test things before you should turn them down so oh, this is not my thing I mean or give it a try if you if you don't feel extremely against it then you should never force yourself to do anything but it's nice to keep an open mind to things and um, and so on but um, I've also got, came to a point where this gets boring and I think that is what's happening um, I think you needed to um, be aware of what you're doing because it's perfectly fine to test everything um, there is and uh, experiment a lot and so on it's absolutely a great thing to do if you want to do that and have a partner to do that or do it with different partners or just as long as you feel okay with it and doesn't hurt anybody else but I think it's uh, important to keep a part uh, or to keep track of what is sexual attractions and what is actually feelings 
for somebody because it's so easy to get um, hooked up in something that isn't really there for you emotionally and uh, it's naturally it's perfectly fine to have those sexual experiences with people you're not emotionally involved with I have had that also and that's perfectly fine as long as all parts are on the same page because if you getting emotional involved with somebody and they are not in you and you have this sexual um, contact, um, contact you might get hurt and your feelings might get hurt and it's um, a pretty bad experience but um, overall I think uh, when you get so wrapped up in this trying everything out and doing as much as possible in the shortest uh, time there is and doing going quite extreme very quickly and so on I think a lot of people lose track of themselves and also what they actually really are interested in because it's um, it's only kinky the first time you do it and um, when you try somebody something else uh, out it could be fun one two three times and then you need to do a step a little bit further if it's only the thrill you are excited about and if you have a partner that there actually is only that uh, pushing it further and further and further that are the real thrill if you don't feel romantically involved with a person when you're having sex if you don't feel emotionally close to that person when you're having sex and so on um, and you don't, can't have vanilla sex and feeling really 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 emotionally close to that person then something is lacking and you're very 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 likely to get hurt and the other person also very likely to get hurt. It's a bad thing to do if you to mix up those things. It's one thing to try things out with a sexual partner where it's outspoken that this is about sex, this is not about feelings and so on. And a whole other thing to think you build try I think you're building a whole relationship around a sexual relas uh, relation that isn't um really mix up the feelings of being emotionally involved with one and so being sexually involved with somebody and uh, I've seen this happening uh, quite a few times and especially about pe with people who have waited a long time to get started maybe it's actually a good thing to have uh, sexual partners before you settle down for one special person I mean I have nothing against people waiting for the right one and waiting until we're married and so on absolutely fine but uh, if you have a huge sexual appetite and really want to experiment around and so on maybe it's a better thing to do that before because you will mix it up and it only will hurt people <laughs> and um, uh, I think uh, the risk is that you push it further and further and further and further until you reach the point where you realize that you are not actually in love with this person and this is not what you wanted to do and then the thrill burns off you start to regret things you've done and that is awful feeling it's a horrible feeling to have to go through and um, I think you should put greater value both on you and the partner you are having both, sec both temporary partners and long term partners it's a lot of responsibility in uh, those um, sexual experience and I think the risk that you get emotionally hurt in those kinkier things are way bigger because you are often put yourself in a more vulnerable position and also in a position where the risk that you will regret what you've done is higher than it is when it comes to vanilla things because um, most of us are more open-minded when we are excited and horny simply when we are in other times and um, yeah, it's very very easy to mix those things up so um, I wish that was something people talked more about and I wish it was something we talked more about young people uh, more with young people about um, it's a hard topic to address because um, yeah you see you don't talk that much about it in schools and so on not even here in Sweden where we have a lot of sexual education in school um, as I mean, I'm sexual educated, but um, I think we should um, because there are so many shades in it, and um, 
we're good at teaching people how to say no to things and we are quite okay with um, okay at teaching people to say yes to some things but we are very very um, poor at um, helping people to see where to draw a line and uh, that's what I was talking, wanted to talk about tonight.